Hello, hello. Oh. Oh. Welcome in. I'm going to work with my animal oracle cards here. Okay. So let's go into our silent meditation here. All right, so one thing that's coming up here for everyone is having a bit more fun. So let's actually start with our daily energy here, okay? So we've got Sao as our as our main theme here, all right? Um, and thank you everyone who is here, who follows, who has subscribed, etc. I'm going to put the replay underneath YouTube as well. So if you miss this, then you're able to catch those over there. All right, so one of the things that I was hearing is communication is really, really key right now. We've got to get our energy up. We have to have a little bit more fun. And then it feels like we'll be able to understand a little bit where where our issues or emotional blocks are right now, okay? So it's important for you to know what your issues are. And then you have to understand, again, the layer of it. But when your vibration's up just a tiny bit more, this will become easier for you, okay? So making sure you're doing the things that are fun for you. So not getting down, that sort of thing. Again, it's easier to understand you when you're happier, okay? So guys, we're just really currently reading the daily energy. That was what came through uh, in my silent meditation here. And my next live, guys, I will put underneath my profile. I have been doing free readings all week. Hello. Um, so, yes, it's been a lot of readings. I'm doing a 45-minute um, Zoom healing session. So I literally just got off of one and, and hopped on here. Um, somebody was wondering, I guess, if they're getting readings in the energy healing. It's just right now I feel like a lot of people need the cleansing. So go ahead and ask your questions here. Um, just doing collective daily energy and then it's going to be over up underneath zoom um, So yes, I'm doing readings. I'm doing energy healings and all of that stuff I just feel like people need that zoom connection and like the the, the cleanse ooh, ooh, ooh. Some things going on with somebody's chakra here. Okay, so more daily energy here The seal also talks about travel and I'm getting forgiveness work as well. I'm just about to upload how to get into my VIP membership group as well and what's in there as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, it's important. That's through my website. There's so much support in there as well, okay? So the horse is also saying your dreams are coming true, guys. Try not to worry about that. Today's energy is very much about like feel into that future setting, okay? Feel into those emotions of productivity. So we've got to raise our vibration and, you know, come into that positive state and it'll help you understand energy. Hey, Tink, I did email you back just so you know. So here. Okay. Again, these are general general energy messages for our day. This is also saying you might be having premonitions if you guys, um, okay. Um, if you guys are having any like any um, mindset issues right now, I feel like being in nature will also be more helpful for you. So December reading is under my profile. If you didn't watch that, there's someone that needs to watch that. Okay. More collective energy for our day here. All right, so today's my last day. I'm doing the daily energy readings here underneath TikTok. So I really appreciate everybody who has showed up for those. Obviously, I am, it's currently not 11-11 today. I did my meditation with my husband, uh, which was really nice because we had to um, go check out our new property, which is amazing. So we were also getting into, getting into that visualization uh, space. So fire dragon, guys, whenever we see the fire, that means there might be some energy that we're releasing today as well. So pay close attention to that. Good or bad, it doesn't matter if you're releasing. This is great. Okay. Water dragon. Also, if you guys are interested in my program that I have coming up in January, please check that out. There's a free masterclass underneath my YouTube live. You'll see that underneath my link tree. Just giving you a little idea of how we work through uh, things that are people that people are working on, okay? Obviously, it'll be in a Zoom setting, and uh, that will be recorded for our VIP members as well as the people uh, joining us. So we meet every four weeks, okay? If you need a payment plan, let me know. So Water Dragon, this is a really beautiful energy for a lot of people. It feels like um, if you've been suffering in silence, it's, it's not something you have to do anymore, okay? So there's permission for you to talk about it. The bear is also saying we might be not in rest and digest, so be careful of that, making sure you're taking extra good care 
of your nutrition and things like that. So the stag is also saying that good times are coming. Uh, so don't forget that, guys. Have things to look forward to. Believe that the future is friendly because it is. We've got the crane as well. There's a lot of beauty coming in for a lot of people as well. I already have the weekly energy reading up in the membership group. So I've already uh, pinned my beginner level uh, information here underneath um, TikTok. And then I also pinned the pro. And then shortly I'll have the VIP pinned up here so you, you know what each one comes with. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, weekly energy too. I feel like, uh, again, get in rest and digest this week. I'm definitely feeling that. So Eagle. Eagle's also talking about, um, you know, I feel like you're really going to achieve your goals right now as well. I really do. So if you're worried about that, try not to. Woo! Okay. So who has a question here? I'll see. And if you're a, a subscriber here, come on in. Okay, I see Tink's in here. Happy Sunday. I didn't see a question. Just let me know if you'd like a message. I doubt if I have future as a psychologist. Okay, well, I'm sorry you did that. I'm here. General message, please. Okay, you have two cards. Actually, you have three cards, okay? Fire Dragon, we just did. All right, because just because she's a subscriber, we, we focus on her first, okay? Um, so if you want to subscribe, you get a free reading and healing every time. I've been doing free readings all week, so I'm really looking forward to... I'm still going to do free readings, but I'm just looking over to, I don't know, do some mindset work this week a bit more too. I find that just need to shift as things are changing with me and my business too. So take advantage of all the sales I have going on, guys. Uh, people are really loving that. They're getting a lot out of it. Um, so yeah good prices which I like so fire dragon here this tells me that you're really working on being more yourself expect especially your public image in the public eye this has been a theme that's been going on for everybody again so if somebody's getting a reading it's still going to benefit everybody else okay the eagle card so again we just saw the eagle card that how it pertains to you is it just feels like again the goal setting I feel like just go really really short term with your goals I'm talking like I want this goal in two days boom it happens okay if anyone was wondering it's so worth subscribing thank you very much I really appreciate that. So the frog we haven't seen yet. So Tank, one thing that comes up with the frog is it just start it. What's coming through is new beginnings. Okay, so it really does feel like trust your vibes when it comes to this new fresh start, whatever it is that you're about to undergo or undertake. Perhaps this is the um, the membership would be great for you. My dad's an eagle for me, and I just got crystal eagle wings. Amazing. So perfect sign that he is here with you. So who else has a question? If you're a subscriber, of course, please make sure you get priority if I missed you. One, what's preventing Victor and I from being together? Well, what you have here is the bull. Bulls usually represent that we're getting in our own way. So where are you feeling stuck? Where are you feeling like things are being forced? One big thing with that card says that you guys need to relax and let go a bit more. Relationships aren't supposed to be like push to give, push to take. It's, oh, I want to give to you and thank you. No, you shouldn't, you know, <laughs> like that sort of thing. Oh, I want to be with you. Oh, I want to be with you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Just like more cute, cutesiness. That's what we want. Lovey and cutesy. All right, Maria. So we'll focus on you here. General energy, you've got the ram, okay? This is talking about astrology. I think astrology would be good for you to start tapping into more, like where the energy is. Again, the weekly energy is underneath the membership group now. So, and uh, as you guys know, I work with new moons and full moons, do the energy readings and healings and clearings for each moon cycle. So I, d I think it's more about just, again, learning, okay, well, the energy right now is in Scorpio. So that means we're internalizing more, things like that. And that means we're having more of a deeper relationship with ourselves, so it's important for me to work on my psychic gifts right now again my psychic development program is in the vip membership so how can i start tapping into these skills we saw this in the 1111 portal right how we're learning about intuition and letting go of the past and so we're seeing that with tink's energy as well starting starting new and fresh again i've been really talking about 2024 goals getting into that mindset with my program coming up so again a lot of the things i create is, is spirit led so i'm feeling like maria for you if you can kind of understand a bit more about that astrology you'll be like oh 
this is so great. I need to use this energy. I need to start doing this, right? And the forgiveness program is coming up for someone in general as well for the end of the VIP membership. So again, I'll be pinning that up soon, okay? So let me know if you find that helpful, if that makes sense to you. Thanks again for being here as a subscriber, guys. Uh, yes, I would like that. Okay, perfect. Um, does Declan from my home, the home, Rachel, appliances shop have romantic feelings for me? And for some reason, again, we're seeing this fire dragon. I don't know. It just feels like maybe he's he's nervous. Is he nervous around you, do you feel, or do you get nervous around him? Um, it doesn't feel like a really deep love spiritual connection to me. Um, I feel like if it was, you wouldn't be questioning it, Rachel. I kind of feel like for you, um, you know, I think you're looking for a deeper spiritual, meaningful, really strong communication relationship so i would really put that energy out there put that vibe hey this is what i want to attract right now so i would um i still want to do a vision board workshop that's what's coming up for me more workshops so um i'm gonna i'm gonna do a vision board workshop okay rachel i feel like if you're not following me make sure you are underneath my link tree and my profile you can get onto my email list as well and then when i go and i create stuff like this you i you don't have to like wait for me to come on live for me to tell you about it. Uh, but yeah, that would be good. Also, new moon affirmations are good for you as well. So affirm the things that you want to attract more around that new moon time. Okay, so new moon. I feel like timeline readings would be good for you too. getting more future readings on predictions of actual timelines. Again, I'm doing uh, a December uh, timeline readings for people and I'm also doing 2024 timeline readings for people so I also think you could learn how to read into the future a bit more as well okay so again any subscriber that's in here I keep thinking you're a subscriber Tito I don't know why but your energy stands out hello welcome in will I be rich soon J J J O A O. Will I rape you, Richson? You've got the dog. This is like your energy is very like. I don't know if you like protect your money or like there's something going on about security for you. So I would go more into if you want to be rich, work on manifesting abundance. Again, my VIP membership group, uh, we have a manifesting abundance program. I don't feel like you need to work on money blocks. I think it's just keep manifesting whatever it is that you're desiring, okay? Because you've got to believe that the money's coming in. And if you have any little bit of doubt, like if you have frustration inside, if you work through that, okay? Work through any difficult emotions that are lingering in, you wouldn't realize that that is still, I guess it is kind of a money block, okay? So remove any negative energy around money, and bring in that prosperity because like it's about you loving yourself it's about you loving your life okay that's important so i lied you do need help with the money blocks again vip membership there's sadness around someone luli are you a subscriber anymore i feel like you're not i saw you hop on but if you are feel free to hop in for a reading here you're welcome. Is okay. What about beautiful? Why did Dalton distance himself, Anna? Okay. What did the fox say? Ding 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 ding. Why did he distance himself? Why do I feel like you have distanced yourself? I think he thinks you've pulled back. That's why. He feels that you pulled back. So it's like you think he thinks this, he thinks that you think that, and it's all just energy and it's not on the same track. No, that will be my head forever. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm getting uh, over the winter, or like over the next seven months, take time to heal. Do some healing work, okay? Uh, some shadow work is in there too. If you want to know what shadow work is underneath my one of my YouTube lives from like last week, I talk about shadow work as well. Um, forgiveness work is in there a little bit not a lot um and again you'd really benefit from a 45 minute uh energy session with me we do readings in there guys you get more in those sessions like i feel like i'm encouraging people to come in to talk about things because i think we need to express ourselves a bit more okay 
<laughs> excuse me. And I would also, because we were talking about distancing ourselves from other people, maybe cut some energy cords as well, because if we're going to take some space away from somebody, if we're actually going to do that, then make sure you're cord cutting. Again, underneath my profile, you'll see a cord cutting exercise for you. Dolly, will my period come in November? All right. So many different things with hormones, eh? I do make healing products as well, so if you ever need more support with hormones, I, I sell like teas and herbs and things like that. But you've got the horse, so yeah, you don't need to you don't need to worry. But there's a negative energy again towards like somebody else. This could be towards yourself. Uh, in my sport, spiritual support team, which you can find through my link tree, uh, I have a pin forgiveness um, forgiveness letter you can do in there. And again, in the membership group, there's some more forgiveness stuff in there. But yeah, you, you're all good. It's just what's actually, there's more of a negative energy towards somebody. That's what it feels like, okay? Mio was pulling back from Bell the right thing. You've got the goose. I think that that's like a, it's a good decision, but it's not like a final decision. It just feels like keep it lighthearted, okay? There's a lot of spiritual positive emotions coming in around that, but your head is like just going 80 miles a minute. So get outside and earth yourself a little bit more. Okay, Luli, so it says you're going to lose your subscription benefits soon, but I think you are in there if you want a reading, okay? What's interesting is I'm hearing the past is not yet determined, which is so, so funny. The past is not yet determined. That's the message I'm getting, which is interesting because I do past life readings and in my healing sessions, I do a lot of past work. So maybe again, you want to book in for a 45 minute, it's only 45 Canadian uh, session. Okay. While that little sales lasting, I'm only creating that because I feel like there are people that need it. So if you feel like that's you jump in. All right. Eagle card. Did I pass my exams? Uh, well, it's, it's, uh, it feels like you're on the right path. I'm hearing you're on the right path. So that's what spirit wants you to know. You're on the right path. Okay. Cause that's, that's, I don't know why you're questioning that. Okay. Will I get a heal? I almost said healing rainbow. All righty. Will I pass my driver's exam? Hind or hind, however you say that. Yeah, you'll be you'll be all right, but I'm getting like maybe not with flying colors. Okay, so be safe on the road, guys. <laughs> Should I tell Adam about my feelings for him? Earth dragon. There's a lot of healing. I think if you do that, regardless of what the outcome is, I think it's good and healthy for you to do. Okay. Well, Michael, reach out before the end of this year. You've got fire dragon. That seems to be a theme. Um, I think he's going to take his sweet time. That's what I'm hearing. He's in no rush. So, I mean, put, put the, put the brakes on if you're not getting what you want. Actually, that's more what I'm getting. Put the brakes on if you're not getting what you want. Do you know what I mean? Brakes are like, Hey, I'm like, I'm not going to put forward here anymore. You know what I'm saying? Joe Marie still love me? Hind or hind? Ah, uh, there's still feelings and emotions there, okay? But if you're getting any negative energy from that person, I feel like just you kind of don't deserve that. So maybe shield from that, okay? Does Jay want to be with me? You've got the bear. Um, Jay is like not sure, I feel like what they what they want, so be really clear in what you want, okay? Eunice, will I be getting marriage next year you've got an upside down hawk um i think you're too worried about things in relation to like i'm almost feeling like maybe you worry about like your size or your weight or something like that and that's something i i would st i would really like work on mentally if that's something you're like overly focused on just stop kind of like just stop worrying okay it feels like you're getting too deep into things or reading too far into things or reading too far into the future so my encouragement for someone like you would be yeah just like love yourself a bit more and focus more on like your beauty inside and out the beauty comes from within not from the outside guys I think you guys know that how do you shield from negative energy oh <laughs> Well, again, I promote the, the, um, I promote, for some reason, the forgiveness program is coming up. The reason why I promote that, and I feel like maybe we should be doing more work like that in group settings, um, is because it, it's like, if you truly want to not absorb other people's negativity, then you need to be in a place where your heart is healed 
And forgiveness, when we're still hanging on to negative energy towards other people and towards ourselves, this is like highly affecting our heart. So when our heart is cl is like closed off, um, it's like our vibration is more low, I guess. And when our vibration's low, um, yeah, like we keep attracting negative situations, negative people and stuff. So it's less about shielding and more about healing. Okay, so when, the more healing you do with that hurt and the more, more forgiveness work you need, you're, you're not going to have to shield. So instead of having a fear-based mindset of like, oh, got a shield, it's like, no, maybe I should do some work on myself. And then I won't need to shield. Then I won't be absorbing other people's negativity. I'll be aware when there is negativity or around me and then I'll do something about it, right? I'll say, hey, maybe you should think about things this way. Or, you know what? I don't really like spending time with you. Peace. You get what I mean? You're more action oriented. So I think sometimes when we say, how do I shield? Um, that's a fear-based mindset, right? Don't worry about it. Um and focus on that forgiveness healing, okay? So if you're hurt about something, like, and you're suppressing things, like, yeah, then then a lot of neg negative things are still gonna, you're gonna keep attracting negativity. So shielding is actually, I would say healing, you know? When you hear me saying shielding, just look at it as like, oh, okay, I need to do some more healing. And then I won't need to worry about that. Make sense? It's how we handle the negative situations. I would just don't go out <laughs> if you're feeling really negative because you can be that way towards other people. So Nessa, uh, do, am I missing a subscriber, guys? I feel like I am. Belissa, will me and Rashed speak again? You've got the eagle card. Thank you for the love, guys. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting nervous tension around that. I feel like there's a lot of stress around it. I feel like just spend your time doing positive things, putting your energy into positive things because I just kind of feel like that's not not a person I would even be thinking or worrying about, honestly. So yeah, maybe you could benefit from one of my like December readings or something. And when you guys book in a reading, if you want to ask questions, because sometimes people don't know, and I, I'm not, I'm not the best at writing details out if I'm in a rush. Um, so yeah, just write all your questions down with your payment. Okay. So mine was a no, I need confirmation. Em Emmy, I don't even remember what your question was. I think maybe I was the one telling you not to, that was the one I was telling you not to worry. Is he regretting and breaking, breaking me? Is he regretting? Mm. I don't know. I think that person just wants to be happy. I don't think they're in regret mode. I think they're just working on being happy. So sometimes we just have to trust that other people need time away from us. You know what I mean? It's healthy to spend time away from from people right maybe if there it wasn't working for a reason krupa well my finances improve soon you've got the owl card here yeah i think i'm just hearing slow and steady wins the race i think financial abundance is something again we're always working towards so again more goal setting for your 2024 you could definitely benefit from coming into my program in january because that's what we're working on until april 25th which is really cool. And then we get to implement all of the little pieces over time. Has Prince left his lover, Water Dragon? Um, I don't know. There's some negative emotions and some suppressed emotions around all of that. Um, so for you, I would just work on your healing journey a bit more spiritually, okay? I feel like you're going to have an awakening soon when you realize, like, I don't know, life's not bad or something. <laughs> Dusty, will Wendy and I work this out? Goose. I think you guys will work on some things. I don't think you'll work on all of the things. So that's a little bit of a concern for me. Can I send EMT? Um, honestly, Tito. Yes, you can. You absolutely can. Okay. Um, Go for it, Tito. Sure. Just make sure once you've done the little heart beside you. Okay. Cool. Will Michael reach out before the end of this year? Oh. Mike. Okay. Should I reach out to Z tonight? You have cat. 
Um, I think if your vibration's in a good place, I would say yes. Okay. Guys, how do we know if our vibration's in a good place? Does anybody want to answer that? Nessa, I'm going to find love soon. Blackbird. Um, I think I see it in the I see it in the distance a bit. So I would say, what's blocking you from bringing in this love partner? Work on that, perhaps. Okay. Again, energy sessions are on sale. You can click my link here if you want to book in for that. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. I was just being told that that's what people need right now. You can also book in um, sessions with me. So you get five, pay for four as well. Um, obviously, if paying $45 right now is, is amazing because it's otherwise it's like 500 and something Canadian for those sessions. So, Barbara, is there a chance to reconcile? With Ben, or is it over? Otter, I feel really drained, really emotional around that situation. I think that you guys are both exhausted, just emotionally drained. And so I kind of feel like it would have to be like a, on a short term basis or something, because I just think you guys are too drained to have that like going on long term. Okay, Barbara, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Jennifer, will, will Christopher contact me this month? There's a little bit of worry in somebody's back of their head. Um, Will Christopher contact me this month? Jennifer, Blackbird. Oh, his energy, it just feels like he's just like not in the right way or something like that. That's what I get. So, I mean, why do you want to know? I, I guess, like, I wouldn't say that that would be like a person I would probably want to invest too much time and energy in if it's related to love, okay? Personally right now he should be here getting some healing i feel is my ex lying to me crane this is a beautiful card just reflect a little bit more on why you feel that way because he's an ex you know what i mean like why are you reflect on why do more reflection work it feels like like why is this important to me why do i feel that way and then offer some like if you do Reiki, do offer some Reiki healing to yourself. With Reiki, when we learn our level two, by the way, I'm now teaching again. So if you want to learn Reiki any level, reach out to me and we'll schedule that. I have a couple in person, but if you're obviously not local, I'm going to do some online trainings where you can get certified. And in my membership group, I teach as well. When we do Reiki level two, we can do past life healing. We can do past current life healing. And we can do future life healing. Crystal, I got your... I got your e-transfer. Thank you very much. Um, anybody else that wants to e-transfer and do it that way, that's no problem. I just have to keep track of you. But just by putting a purple heart up beside your name, that would be great if you paid e-transfer. Okay. Um, anyway, we just got distracted again there. Must have been on a rant. Oh, it was the reflection card about doing uh, healing on yourself. So, yeah, I would recommend you could do some past healing on this situation so you can kind of allow yourself to energetically be more uh conscientious moving forward more conscious of these things that's what's coming through so yeah well todd and i reconciled before the end of 2023 again you get the reflection card here uh i'm hearing take take time out in relation to this this person okay it takes some time out and i just got a lot of tension in my head there's way too much tension in that situation for you okay is my boyfriend is my boyfriend giving me a love offer today b i don't know again what's going on with his energy i would say like Help him. Help him out. If you do any type of healing, do some healing on him if you get together, okay? That's what he needs right now. Again, if you did Reiki, I would do some distant healing on him. I think he could he could really benefit from that right now. Sometimes we don't realize, guys, when people are going through stuff, except especially males, like it's tough. They don't always talk like they could. Um, okay, Tito, if you're here, we're going to make sure we get you in because you just subscribed and you're a new subscriber. So I really appreciate that. Okay. And if ever, if you want to come into the membership group and e-transfer, okay, so it's like 55, 55 Canadian, that's only $55 and 55 cents. Um, then what I do is like, I go in 
So you create a login and then once I, I'll find your login and then I'll put like subscription for the month or ongoing subscription and you can just keep, keep paying the e-transfer that way. So I'll say you just paid a different way. That's no problem. Okay. I do prefer automatic payments, but of course, if somebody can't pay that way, I will not say no to you. It's just more for my own organizational reasons. So Tito, if you're there, just let me know. Hannah, will me and her become a couple? Earth Dragon. That's a nice positive energy, a positive ending to that situation as well. Thank you. Does Ryan actually like so-and-so? Well, I don't feel like that's any of our business. All right, Tito. You've got the Earth Dragon card here coming in. Again, I'm getting a lot of worry for, for you, like easily getting into a negative space. Okay. Hi, Autumn. Well, you can focus on you next if you like. So the um, the Earth Dragon here, let's go into your energy. I keep getting like, I heard hope floats. I believe that's a movie maybe with Sandra Bullock or something. I don't know if you watch a lot of movies, but I would look up hope floats and watch that movie. I think there's going to be some type of significance to it. I also think that you're inviting more hope into your into your lifestyle. I uh, do have a question, Tito, once we're because we're in your energy here. I'm feeling called to the owl as well. Very spiritually uh like I'm hearing spiritual alignment connection, which is also interesting because I have um my SAC, which is a training that I did to help people kind of align their energy uh, cords kind of like after we've had surgery or, um, yeah, like I think I, and like working more with meridian lines, for some reason that's coming up for you. Again, you might benefit from an energy session with me to kind of reattach healthy cords back into your life. So I kind of feel like, um, love life is coming up for you in relation to this. It kind of feels like you need to like reconnect back into your heart center a bit more and do some clearing and cleansing around the heart chakra just because of like love stuff. Uh, and I see you being really tenta ten tentative towards like other people's needs. Like you have a really soft, gentle uh, energy. So I would say uh, you're kind of working on like different categories right now it feels like emotions one component finances like another component and I would prioritize probably um if you do ever come into the membership group I would go into the money blocks program first because it's very much like about gratitude getting into the mindset of being into that happy state and then I would also then work on the emotional layers and kind of like dissecting those um you know and getting some data healing around that stuff too um, but I do, I can see you learning more tools. Okay. And so Tito, these tools are going to be really helpful for you long term, but sometimes I feel like you forget to practice some of the tools that you already have. Yes, but it feels really good for you. So, I mean, I do see you practicing. I do see you learning tools. Again, I just also see you like putting a lot of time and energy into others too. So um, yeah, like there's a touch of forgiveness in there as well. Uh, I feel like there's just a little bit of needing to forgive a couple people, but then it also kind of feels like it's just, yeah, just holding more space for you, you know, more time on what it is that you need. Sometimes there's a lot going on in the background, it feels like, and it's like, okay, there's just too much going on. And I think you get overwhelmed and you're quite sensitive to energy as well. So we want to feel like you can be productive with your own time. And, uh, that's something I would definitely work on for you with that. I do. I kind of lose myself in helping other people. Yeah. T time is really coming up for you. Okay. So again, uh, if you hop in there, the weekly energy is up. And uh, I also did some theta healing downloads as a bonus for um, the entire group in there, because I feel like the whole group needs, needs some of those uh, theta healing downloads. It was for negativity and uh, something else. <laughs> So there you go. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, it's just like, I feel like you're learning to reparent yourself. Okay, if that makes any sense to you. And there's a new beginning. There's a new fresh start for you as well. We're seeing that with Tink's energy. So that's nice. You're very, again, you're aligned 
in terms of like healing and energy right now. It feels so good for you. It's like you know that, but you just need to like take it, take it. <laughs> and you're funny too, which is amazing. So we're just gonna cuddle energy cords here. You get a reading and healing every time now as you come in as a subscriber. So make sure you put that purple heart up because you're the only person paying uh, who paid e transfer for that. So I'll also also make a a uh, note on when that date was, which is November 19th, okay? So if you want to repeat, just make sure you you do that again, okay? I am, I left it up. Yes. Yeah, because you've had a lot happen, and as a result of this, you know, we it's harder to get our joy back, but at the same time, when we're sensitive, it can be really easy to get our joy back, so it's quite complicated. It's like in some ways, it, it's more work, and in other ways, it's way easier. And that's just kind of the part of our, our life path and, and the story we've lived, right? But you're on a new chapter. Life looks good. I'm not sure if you like to read um, or you work with angel cards, or but I feel like if you go to chapters or something like that, you might find there's something that, that draws you in there, okay? Like go get a coffee and hang out at chapters or something. Is Clara... Okay, so I saw a subscriber hopping in here. Maybe it was Christine or someone. If you're here as a subscriber, please take up some space to make sure we get everybody in here. Is Clara angry angry on me or is she angry on herself? Clara, Jaka, Jaka, is Clara angry? Thank you very much, guys. Equal. I'm hearing there's like, there's things, the way that, the way this person has perceived people and things is a little distorted. It's like, you know how we have perception? Like, my perception of my hair today could be messy. Your perception of my hair could be sexy. You get what I'm saying? So your interpretation of this person is like, are they angry? Like, something's going on. And I think just sometimes we have distorted... Uh, ways of looking at things. You get what I'm saying? So I kind of get that this person has some distorted ways of looking at things or interpretation on things right now. Okay, so so that might be something you can help them with. You can send them over this way if they need need the link. My link tree is available for you guys. Is Andrew over our connection? Swan, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I kind of think he is, but it doesn't feel like completely, but it feels like he is. So, you know, it doesn't feel like a hundred percent. There's still some lingering things going on there for sure. Back to work. No problem. Will I have a successful relationship anytime soon? Eagle. Yes, but there's definitely some work that you could do. Okay. Scarlett, will I get the job from my interview? Thank you. Tuesday coming. Salmon. I'm hearing you're underselling yourself. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So that means I would say maybe uh, you could talk about yourself a little bit more, like work on the self-confidence a bit more, because I feel like you're quite skilled, but maybe that's not being uh, seen because maybe how you're not sharing enough, or maybe it's, you know, you end the resume kind of thing. So I would just, um, it's weird, but I'm getting to offer like Reiki healing like I'm hearing charge your resume the vibration of the resume that's cool I've never even thought to do that I charge all my uh crystals and my products and things like that so if you ever want to learn how to do Reiki again I'm going to be teaching certifications if you ask it and you want to learn that way or in my VIP membership group I have all kinds of trainings in there you don't get the actual piece of paper but you learn how to do all of the things okay if that's ever something you want to learn I also do theta healing on my products as well. Uh, and I'll go into the Akashic Records for them as well. So we forget sometimes when we learn these trainings, again, they're all through there, um, that we can offer that to animals, to water. We can bless our water and then drink it with the full moon. We can um, offer like full moon uh, healing to crystals and just so many things like that products have records too yeah like that's why I when I say you should learn about it because then you can understand what I'm talking about uh, because yes we can go into the records of anything anything 
like, and that's what I love, I, you know, when you go into nature and it's like, oh, I want to go into the energy, the vibration of this tree. And so it will, you can, you can feel and you can see, and there's just like all this beautiful energy, but we've got to ask to open up that energy. So yes, that's why I think that I, when I took my Akashic Records training, that was through someone in New York. Um, and so then I kind of transferred that information over to you guys so you could have access to that at a very low cost and other people can, you know, watch the replays in there. I think everybody can really benefit from understanding some of these things. It's a very like happy and healing place to be. It's, it makes you trust. It makes you feel more, especially when you get Reiki attunements. Those are like life changing for people energy wise. Uh, it's really great for cleansing right now, I feel, and probably why I'm feeling like promoting more of the energy side of things to help people raise their own vibration. Uh, but yeah, I started making my products at the just as I finished the Akashic Records training, which is interesting. And I learned how to charge energy and help things vibrate in a more positive light through the Theta healing. But the Akashic Records is really where I was like, oh, this herb does this. This person needs this herb. Is so cool. And so, you know, we can do that with food as well. And and so if you guys feel like, you know, and you, if you've gone to a coffee shop and somebody's in a bad mood and they don't really care, they're just like, eh, here's your coffee. And you drink it and it feels like, oh, that just, it's not sitting right in my stomach. I don't like the energy of this coffee. Yeah, it's like it could be, well, where did the end, where did that coffee come from? Like, I don't know if you guys are big meat eaters, but do you ever think about that of like the energy of the meat, like of the animal or, you know, the the uh, local store that you bought it from or the shipping, like there's energy in everything, right? So maybe that animal was that that you ate. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know why this is coming up. Maybe somebody needs to hear that. Um, but yeah, like when you're a sensitive person and you're intuitive, like there's a lot of weird shit that happens to you. But as you start to learn, you're like, oh, okay, this is just like my in intuition is, is giving me this information. And so I'm feeling that. And so it's important to understand whereas if there's something that like came from, like for instance, my tinctures, because tink, I know I mentioned the turmeric tincture, a larger one for you. Um, like turmeric is great for inflammation. It's a root. It's very grounding. You get what I'm saying? So less flare ups emotionally, less triggers, that sort of thing. Um, you know, great for the mind, that sort of thing. Um, it has a lot of great sources of nutrition, but, um, yeah, like when I started, I don't know where that, why I'm even talking about this, but it feels like with the tinctures, oh, my psychic who I get readings from, she started getting tinctures from me and she's like, this has the most incredible energy. I've bought things from like all kinds of other people, but like yours is, has like this most amazing energy. So she started like getting, sending a bunch of people to me just word of mouth and putting stuff in their spas and things like that. I'm still working on my packaging, but the energy of it is, is amazing. And cause that's just shit you're putting into your body right you want to feel that way <laughs> so yeah and so for her she gets drained a lot as a psychic and um you know working on weight loss and um liver cleanses and intuition and so she started promoting a lot of my stuff which was really nice because she has found that it's helped her with her psychic stuff with her sleep with her weight loss and so she would do research on what herbs she wanted and then I started buying all of these herbs which is a lot and then uh taking all the time to make them and then she would yeah she would buy those things from me so it's kind of cool because I could learn based on what she wanted and so forth so I'm really interested in customizing products for people based on what they're working on okay if it's uh insomnia or blood pressure or whatever okay I'm not a doctor but there's a lot of research out there and it's really great herbs are amazing especially in the healing room hello so okay love are you looking for a message I just went on another entire rant. Uh, you don't need to believe in anything for the power of healing to be effective because we're, we're unless somebody is so blocked energy wise, 
that they hate themselves so much that they push away any positivity, like, they're still going to get a little bit of good stuff because no matter how hard you try to resist certain things, like, you still have to absorb something if your body is functioning at all. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, the more open you are, the more you take care of yourself, the better it's going to be. That may partially be the case. Yeah, that's why I was saying about healing and, like, taking care of your gut as well, Taking do, going through the cleanses. You know, you've got to listen to your body. It's not me. Okay. So, Caleb333. So, well, Tink, I will ship that over to you as soon as I get your address and you can uh, pay through PayPal. It was $100 Canadian, okay? And actually, once you pay through PayPal, your address will be there. How about that? So, if, once I see that, I'll send it over to you, okay? And then I usually do like the fast shipping through my business, so it, it won't take long. Any messages for me? Okay. So you have the cow. I'm getting that there's a friend of yours that's calling your energy in, but sometimes you might feel like, oh, I don't have the time, or ah, that's just me thinking this. I actually get that they're like really trying to call you in, but they're maybe like worried you're busy or you don't want to talk to them and they don't know if yeah, what the topics would be or something like that, but it, it feels like they're really trying to call you in. So if you know who this person is, reach out to them. Again, once you have time, put it on your on your quicker to-do list, it feels, because there's a reason why they're trying to connect you. I think your spirits are very aligned right now. And this, this doesn't have to be a female. It feels like a female, but there feels like there's a male attached to that female too. So trust your vibes on that one, Kayla. Do you have any questions about that? Will me, will me and my fiance's friend think of me when he we finally meet well what what uh, what will they think of you blackbird just be yourself i feel like uh talk about your passions talk about your your goals your dreams almost like you know how you would in an interview only a very relaxed setting that sort of thing the mindful minute okay hi we're gonna pull you up a card welcome in so again, if you want to hop into that uh, Foundation for Healing program, it starts up in January, guys. So Heather, if that is something you're interested in, and the first master class is underneath YouTube Live, okay, if you, if you missed that. Um, Fire Dragon, again, we're seeing this over and over, uh, the Mindful Minute. So you also have the crane. We were talking here earlier about reflection time. A little bit more time out for you feels important right now. Um... So I feel like you've got a couple of people in your energy field right now who might be draining you a bit. So be cautious and careful of that. That's what's coming through for you, okay? You also have loyal people too, but then you kind of have those people who are like maybe unaware that, they, that they're not really sometimes like the healthiest and, and it feels like it does affect you. So be around people that are really healthy, okay? Um, so we didn't have enough uh, people for our master class last night. Um, and so Heather and Heather, you were signed up for that and, um, it was a free, uh, class where I was like, why the heck wouldn't people want this? But maybe it was like the time, um, that sort of thing. So, um, I just feel like guys, if there's something you want me to teach in a program, just let me know. Okay. That's actually how I work. So a lot of people in my membership group will be like, um, I think I'm ready for another class. And then I'll say, okay, well, I'm kind of feeling this for you. And then we set something up for like maybe a two night class or something like that. So as you can see, I'm kind of starting to feel into all this different stuff. I'm getting like a workshop, a writing workshop, getting a vision board. Um, so if you have things you want to learn, reach out again, if you want Reiki training, reach out to, okay, that's just coming through for people. Cause I think maybe sometimes I'm creating for people even though this is a very open foundation for healing is literally just 2024 goals i was getting emotional baggage and goal setting because it's january and we'll be working over that timeline uh, but if there's something specific that you want to learn let me know 
that's what I'm here for. In our in our um, Foundations for Healing program, obviously, it's wide open, uh, which is something I've never done before. Uh, but again, if you want specifics, let me know. Our healing tools on the 21st of the month for our VIPs are also learning. So if you want to know more about crystal healing, just email me. Hey, I want to learn about crystal healing. Okay. I saw the email. Sorry, there wasn't enough people perhaps next time. Well, um... Yeah, that's why I'm saying I think that um, the way I work is if there's one person that says, I want to learn this workshop, or there's one person that says, I want to learn this program, then I will create the date for them. I will, like, create create the program for them, um, and then and how much it's going to cost, and then I record it for my VIPs. But I will do the class with one person. So as long as I have that one person, I will advertise it for other people, and they can come in or not come in. And I'm doing that with my Reiki training. So I think that's what's going on with this one, is I was like, hey, this is what I'm doing, and then creating an interest group. But I think what I'm going to do moving forward now is pe let people come to me, hey, I want to learn this, here, we'll create it. Boom, it's happening. And then anybody that wants to join in can. Make sense? So, yeah, that was just something I was trying out. But I think because I left it very open and, and loose, um, maybe it's too open. So maybe I need to be a bit more specific with that. So thank you for all your help. Guys. So um, I think K333, you were asking, I think you just ended your beginner level membership that you just started, didn't you as well? If you still have access to that, uh, watch the Theta Healing downloads. I did that as a bonus so everybody in the membership group can can get those healings and clearings. And I also just put up the weekly energy uh, reading. So make sure you check that out too before you head out. Um, and I'm going to put my VIP membership group information and pin it in here, okay? Uh, it's okay, love, if you're still there. Let me know what that last question was. Something about maybe someone. Will Anthony, Anthony and I eventually be in a relationship? Sarah, how will my Thanksgiving go? Okay, so I'm going to focus on you, Sarah. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Goose. I'm hearing wild goose chase. It feels like um, like healthy. It's a healthy Thanksgiving, and it feels like a little busy, uh, but it feels like a healthy busy. It feels like sometimes when we feel like there's love around us and energy's moving fast, it can give us that kind of like overwhelm sensation, but I'm almost getting like, it's okay to have a little overwhelm because there's love around you. You know what I mean? So I'm getting settled into that heart space a, a little bit more. Uh, the universe also wants you to pick up, I don't know, where you left off with somebody. That's what's coming up. Pick up where you left off with somebody. Okay. Is M looking forward to seeing me here? Yes and no. Is M, okay, will BB contact me himself? Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Um, not right now. Does Bill want to see me again here? Possibly, maybe. I I don't know. I would feel like, I've, for some reason, I'm getting watch a movie with this person. Watch a movie with them. And if not, watch a movie by yourself. Movies are coming up for people here on Sunday. We, uh, my husband's patiently waiting for me to go outside because we're smoking some salmon out on the smoker here right after this, as long as I don't have a booking. To a level, Shane, contact me to discuss our relationship. Frog, I've been getting into more Christmas movies late at night. I find them cute. So, um, will Shane contact me to discuss our relationship? Uh, I don't know if money was a problem for you guys. I'm kind of getting, like, money. There's some uh, something to do with money in there. So, yeah, maybe bring that up in conversation. Do I have a new job on the horizon, Ram? I'm getting, like, for you to not take your past into the future. Um, so if you're looking for a new job in the same field, I'm getting maybe... I don't know if this is relates to you, but in a, get a job in a different town, place, situation, circumstance, like, you know, be open if somebody's hiring for, I don't know, to make food or something like that. It's like, just don't be afraid to like, be like, okay, and it's a little further away. It's just like, all right. That's kind of what I'm getting. 
Um, I've had so many opportunities by being that type of person. I could go into a coffee shop, start wiping tables down because they're, I don't know, because they're dirty and they're busy and I know how to wipe tables down. I'm like, here, give me a cloth. I'll wipe a couple tables down for you, even though I'm a customer. And they're like, do you want to work here? I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then have like a barista opportunity. Now I know how to make lattes and stuff like that. And I don't know, just, it, it, just something that's happening in your present time. You know what I'm saying? So I do think yeses are, yeses are good things because you meet people and you get experiences, right? We get into our head a little bit too much in our comfort zone. Discounted coffee. Oh, all the free coffee. Yes. And we used to sometimes have a, have a few drinks too because the owner and I would, would work together and he'd kind of like cook and I'd like serve some coffee. We'd have a couple drinks at work. We didn't care. It was funny. Long time ago. Just a little community coffee shop where people would hang out. And, uh, yeah, they do, like, some poetry nights and some open mic nights and stuff. It was fun. Uh, I learned a lot there. Alrighty, guys. I think I covered everybody. We've got the seal as a collective energy to uh, maybe get outside, get into chill vibes. That's what we started off. Uh, that's what we started off today with getting our energy up and when we're able when we can dissect some of our problems a little bit better when we're happier when we're in a better place to do that when our energy's up so I don't really feel like it's a great time to kind of dissect all your problems when when you need uh when you need positive vibes you know what I'm saying it's kind of like the timing of things as we're seeing with Tito that the energy of time so Bohr is also talking about I'm getting these movies and entertainment and you know, people being really, like, picky and judgy and stuff like that. Get away from the picky and the judgies, okay? Last card here, dog is very loyal to, loyal. And uh, so um, maybe spend time with your pets. I'm also getting, um, thinking about Christmas right now. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing another video for um, for people here for products. So I'm going to tune in to, I guess, like everybody and just do like a little video. So if you feel like that speaks to you and you want to buy a gift, let me know as well. You can inbox me that way or email me. Okay. I can picture you doing just that and getting hired. Haha. <laughs> you have no idea how many weird, how many weird experiences I've, I've had like that. I remember going into a pub in Calgary because I'm in Canada and it was getting close to the stampede and I was visiting, visiting a friend and I'm like, well, hey, said to the waitress, if you need any help during the stampede, because it's it's busy, let me know. I'll uh, I'll d slay some beers for you guys, go behind the bar. And they're like, sure, that'd be awesome. We could use the extra help. And then I did. And they're like, well, if you ever come, extra money in my pocket. And they're like, well, if you ever want to come back here, come back. You're awesome. <laughs> So, I don't know. I've just always been that, that type of person. I've always really liked casually doing things. So, uh, our ram and our salmon, okay, education is also coming up. Don't forget, guys, if you want to learn about healing, um, get programs with me. Get into the membership group. Come in and get a healing session while I'm doing those discounts. I wish I lived in Canada. We'd be friends for sure. <laughs> Well, come on down when I do one of my bigger retreats. Make a trip out of it. And I also want to do retreats internationally too, which is cool. So uh, Ram, this is talking about astrology as well. That was coming up for somebody learning more about the energy. Again, my weekly energy reading is in my membership group now. I'm not going to be doing daily energy readings in my lives. This was just what I did this week. So I'm going to go back to putting my daily energy readings here underneath my profile so make sure you're following me and get and get those okay and there, again there's random videos like cord cutting and meet your spirit guide stuff and some reiki in there as well so any questions you guys have as well check out the youtube my instagram my facebook stuff or spiritual support team for is a private membership group so if you are um a member why are you ignoring me bad girl oh, for so many reasons <laughs> okay uh, th that spiritual support team is there for my members as well. So if you have any questions about things, use that and feel free to share stuff for others as well. Hello, Tarot Flip. Would you like a card? Because I find you have pulled me up cards, so I'd love to pull you up a card before before I go. Tarot Flip, if, are you there? Let me know. 
It just asked me if I wanted to invite you, so that must mean that you're here. Oh, Aria, I'd love, uh, I'd love you. You want to love me? Well, I want to love you. All right. Do you have a question, Terrific? Working with my animal oracle cards today, I just did a session with somebody and I was getting very much like nature vibes off of them and like animal therapy. So relationships are coming up for you, not just your relationships with friends, with your clients, with your family. It just feels like relationships in general. Again, this can be a collective message for a lot of people. We've got the family card here. Uh, it feels like you're doing a lot of work for other people. Um, and so I get that if you have any limiting beliefs, again, you could come in for an energy session. They're only 45 Canadian for 45 minutes, just a little sale I'm doing. I'm getting you could definitely um, benefit from working on your limiting beliefs. Of course, if you know how to do that yourself, that's what they're wanting you to work on, your spirit guide specifically. And angels, the owls, like that's where the wisdom Wisdom comes in. Lots of family stuff coming in soon. Yeah. Um, you also have the adder here. Okay. And so I'm getting a lot of twists and turns for you. Um, but I feel like the way that you view yourself and the way you identify with yourself right now has to be positive, seeing yourself in a really positive light. And again, that's been coming up for everybody energy wise lately is like having a positive self image, how you're, how you're viewing yourself in the public and stuff like that. So you're very in sync and aligned with where the energy stands right now. Is this thing real? Am I real? I am real. So you have the Raven card. I'm feeling really emotional as, as well uh, with you. So it feels like there might be something up upsetting you a tiny bit. Love that insight. Definitely working on self-image things. Um, but it feels like it's um, because you're so intuitive and you have these premonitions, it feels like sometimes things weigh on your heart because like, you know what's coming before it's, it's happened. And so I think that's where some of the emotions are getting trapped into the heart space. So I know you work with crystals. I was suggesting a little crisp... Um, I think it was like a little crystal grid and I was saying rose quartz and I'm still kind of feeling the connection to the rose quartz. I also sell uh, necklaces and a bunch of healing stuff. I'm going to do a video underneath my profile to show you guys some of the recommendations for my people following. Um, so feel free to watch that guys. But I'm wearing gold sandstone and I'm being told to uh, to show you that, that how this is like hanging down over my neck. Do you wear crystal necklaces like this? Because this is... Um, a grounding stone and it's also like a good luck stone. Sandstone is beautiful because it really has those nice sparkles.